Hello everyone and welcome back to my Let's Play of Doki Doki Literature Club. The lovely game about friends hanging out at school and totally not killing each other. Oh, I'm surprised that Joy went to Yuri. I never knew that. Oh yeah, last time we figured out that um, Noski's dad does beat her, and also she has no food at home, which is very, very sad. Poor girl. I'm sure terrible things will happen to her. Alright, let's go. Another day passes and it's time for the club meeting already. I've gotten a little more comfortable here over the past couple days. Entering the club room, the usual scene greets me. Welcome back, Ash. Uh, hi, Yuri. I'm not sure if it's me or if it's Yuri's expression, but the weight of yesterday's quarrel still hangs in the air a little. Uh, um... Yuri glances over her shoulder, looking around the room. Noski is reading manga at a desk. And surprisingly, Monica isn't here yet. Suddenly, Yuri takes my arm and pulls me to the corner of the room. About yesterday. No, I remember. Last time. I mean, the, the, the last route I did this on. There was some, like, Natsuki's memory had been completely wiped. And she also did that weird face thing. Which apparently only happens sometimes, but I'm curious if I'll see it again. <laughs> About yesterday. I... I really need to apologize. Nothing like that has ever happened before. And something just came over me, I guess. I wasn't acting mentally sound. Please don't think we're usually like this. Not just me, but Natsuki as well. Yuri. I'm happy that you were considerate and apologized. You don't have to worry too much. Even though I've only been here a couple days, I could tell something was off yesterday. Maybe we were just a little extra sensitive because it was our first time sharing poems. But whatever it was, it didn't, it didn't make me think any less of you. I had already decided that there's no way you could be a bad person. And now that you're apologizing, I know you, you didn't really mean it. Ah. Ash. Don't say those kinds of things so frankly. They, they make me a little too happy. So I'm curious if Yuri is still going to be obsessed with us in this route. Like, I'm not trying... I'm not actively trying to impress her, but she's still responding the same way, so it's kind of interesting. I'm really glad that you're such an understanding person. And I'm really glad that you joined this club. Everything is a little bit brighter with you around, and... Ah. Uh, sorry, what am I saying right now? I just... Hey, have you guys seen Monica? Ah! No, I haven't. I was also, I was also kind of wondering where she was. Man... Yuri, I'm guessing you haven't either. Yuri is clearly taken aback by how calmly Natsuki is addressing her. Th no, I haven't. Jesus isn't like her at all. I know it's stupid, but I can't help but worry a little bit. What? Why are you looking at me like that? Uh, um... Natsuki, about yesterday? I, I just wanted to apologize. I promise I didn't mean any of the things I said. And I'll do my best to stay under control from now on. So, Yuri, what the heck are you talking about? Did you do something yesterday? Huh? Jeez. Whatever's on your mind, I'm sure it was nothing. I don't even remember anything bad happening. You're the kind of person who worries too much about the little things, aren't you? But, but... I'll accept your apology anyway if it helps you feel better about it. Besides, it's kind of nice to hear since I was afraid you secretly hated me or something like that. <laughs> N no not at all. I don't hate you. <laughs> well, you're kind of weird, but I don't hate you either. Nosky turns to me. You're still on trial, though. Hey. Suddenly the door swings open. Sorry, I'm super sorry. Oh, there you are. I didn't mean to be late. I hope you guys weren't worried or anything. Nah. Well, Natsuki was. I, I was not. <laughs> What took you so long, anyway? Ah. Uh, well, my last period today was study hall. T 
to be honest, I kind of just lost track of time. <laughs> that makes no sense, though. You would have heard the bell ring, at least. I must not have heard it since I was practicing piano. Piano? I wasn't aware you played music as well, Monica. Ah, oh, don't give me more credit than I deserve. I guess I've been practicing for a while, but I'm still not really good yet. Still, that must require a lot of dedication. So I'm still impressed. Aw, oh, well thanks, Yuri. You should play something for us sometime. Haha, <laughs> that's... Monica looks at me. Well, I am working on writing a song, but it's not quite done yet. We have to wait until the end of the game so I can play it during the credits. Maybe once I get a little bit better, I will. That sounds cool. I look forward to it. Is that so? In that case, I won't let you down, Ash. Monica smiles sweetly. Ah. I didn't mean any pressure or anything like that. Haha, <laughs> don't worry. I was hoping I could share with you anyway. I guess that's why I've been practicing so much recently. I see. I'm not sure if Monica was referring to the whole club or just me. In that case, best of luck. Thanks! So I didn't miss anything, did I? N not really. I choose not to bring up anything that the three of us talked about. Besides, Noski's already run off into the closet. Ash? Um, since your compliments put me in a good mood, I was wondering if you would like to spend some time together today. I mean, in the club. Uh, I suppose so. I don't think I could say no to you after you gave that book to me. Well, I guess I need to make sure that Natsuki isn't waiting for me. After we finished reading yesterday, she... She's fine. She's reading over there, see? Don't think about her so much. Yep, there's gonna be some conflict here. Ooh. She's used to being ignored. Come on, we're going over there. Oh, black screen? Ooh. What's the story about, anyway? Well, okay, so is... Is Monica using y Yuri to force us away from Natsuki? Is that what's happening here? Or is Yuri doing something? Because, I mean, Yuri is... I don't know how to say this politely, but she's not mentally stable. <laughs> I look at the cover of the book. The book is titled Portrait of Markov. There's an ominous looking ice symbol on the front cover. Basically, it's about this religious camp that was turned into a human experiment prison. And the people trapped there have this trait that turns them into killing machines that lust for blood. But the facility gets even worse and they start selectively breeding people by cutting off their limbs and fixing them to... Oh, that might be a little bit of a spoiler. But anyway, I I'm really into it. The book, I mean. Not the thing about the limbs. That's kind of... That's kind of dark, isn't it? Yuri made it sound like it was going to be a nice story, so that dark turn came from nowhere. Ah. Are you not a fan of that sort of thing, Ash? No, it's not that. I mean, I can definitely enjoy those kinds of stories, so don't worry. I hope so. Yeah, I totally forgot that Yuri's into those things. She's so shy and reclusive on the outside, but her mind seems to be completely different. It's just that this sort of story... is the kind that challenges you to look at life from a strange new perspective. When horrible things happen not just because someone wants to be evil, but because the world is full of horrible people and we're all worthless anyway. Then suddenly... I'm rambling, aren't I? Not again. I'm sorry. Hey, don't apologize. I haven't lost interest or anything. Well, I guess it's alright then. But I feel like I should let you know that I have this problem. When I let things like books and writing fill my thoughts, my whole body gets incredibly... I kind of forget to pay attention to other people. So I'm sorry if I end up saying something strange. And please stop me if I start talking too much. That's... I really don't think you need to worry. That just means you're passionate about reading. The least I can do is listen. It's a literature club, after all. Ah. That's... Well, that's true. In fact, I might as well get started reading it, right? Oh! Yes. <laughs> I mean, you don't have to, but... <laughs> what are you saying? Let me just get the book. I quickly retrieved the book that I'd put into my bag. For a minute I forgot that we were in the, the glitchy route part. And that, that really caught me by surprise. <laughs> Alright, it's fine if I sit here, right? I slip into the seat next to Yuri's. Uh, yeah. Are you sure? You seem a little apprehensive. That's... 
I'm sorry. It's not that I don't want you to. It's just something I'm not very used to. That is, reading in company with someone. I see. Well, just tell me if I end up distracting you or anything. Uh, Alright. I open the book and start the prologue. It's interesting that I, I feel like we're kind of being rail railroaded into Yuri's route here. Hmm. I don't know what to think about that yet. I soon understand what Yuri means about reading in company. It's as if I can feel her presence over my shoulder as I read. It's not a particularly bad thing. Maybe a little distracting, but the feeling is somewhat comforting. Yuri's in the corner of my eye. I realize that she's not actually looking at her own book. I glance over. It looks like she's reading from my book instead. S sorry I was just bathing in the feeling of your body heat. Yuri, you really apologize a lot, don't you? I, I do? I don't really mean to. Sorry. I mean... <laughs> Here, this should work, right? I slide my desk until it's up against Yuri's and then hold my book more between the two of them. I mean, I'm pretty sure I picked all the words for Natsuki. I guess this is just what happens. Ah. Uh, I, I suppose so. Yuri timidly closes her own copy. Once we each lean in, in a little bit, our shoulders are almost touching. It feels like my left arm is in the way, so instead I use my right hand to hold the book open. Uh, I guess that makes it kind of difficult to turn the page. Here. Yuri takes her left arm and holds the left side of the book between her thumb and forefinger. Ah! I do the same with my right arm on the right side of the book. That way, I turn a page and Yuri slides under her thumb after it flips to her side. But in holding it like this, we're huddled even closer together than before. It's actually kind of distracting me. It's as if I can feel the warmth of Yuri's face and she's in the corner of my vision. Are you ready? Huh? To turn the page. Uh, sorry. I think I got a bit distracted for a second. I glance over at Yuri's face again and our eyes meet. I don't know how I'll be able to keep up with her. Ah, uh, that's okay. You're not as used to reading, right? I don't mind being patient if it takes you a bit longer. It's probably the least I can do, since you've been so patient with me. Y yeah. Thanks. We continue reading. Yuri no longer asks me if I'm ready to turn the page. Instead, I just assume that she finishes the page before me, so I turn it by my, by my own volition. We continue the first chapter in silence. Even so, turning each page almost feels like an intimate exchange. My thumb gently laying go of the page, laying a flutter over to her side as she catches it under her own thumb. Hey, Yuri. This might be a silly thought, but... The main character kind of reminds me of you a little bit, and here comes the creepy face. Eh? Yeah? No, I don't relate to this character at all. Definitely not. Really? I was just thinking the way she second guesses things she says and all that. Ah. That's what you were talking about. Sorry. I thought you meant something else about her. Something else? N never mind. We didn't even get that far yet. So I don't know why that came into my head. <laughs> uh, Yuri, are you feeling alright? Huh? Yuri's been a little fidgety ever since we started reading. You can rest if you're feeling sick or something. Your breathing is a little... My breathing? Yuri puts her hands on her chest as if to feel her heartbeat. I... I didn't even notice. Anyway, I'm fine. I just need some water. Alright, don't push yourself. Yuri stands up and practically rushes out of the classroom. What on earth was that about? Ash? Did something happen just now? Huh? I have no idea. Yuri was acting a little strange, I guess. So you don't know anything? Sorry, I can't say I do. Are you worried about her? Oh no, not really. I was just making sure that you didn't do anything to her. N nothing <laughs> Don't worry, I believe you, silly. Yuri just does this sometimes, so it's nothing alarming. Alright, if you say so. Anyway, why don't we start with sharing our poems with each other? Huh? Shouldn't we wait for Yuri? Well, she might be a while, so I just figured we'd get started without her. Is that okay? It's fine with me. Yeah, I was just asking. I stand up. I make a mental note of where I left off in the book, then slip it back into my bag. Alright, Natsuki. How are you? Are you okay? Hmm. Well, it's not terrible. That's pretty disappointing after your last one. Then again, if this one was as good as your last one, I would be completely pissed. Well, I guess I want to try something a little different this time. Fair enough. You're still new to this, so I wouldn't expect you to find your style right away. 
I mean, everyone in the club writes really differently from each other. Maybe you'll find a little influence from all of us. For instance, I noticed that you were spending some time with Yuri today. Not that I care who you spend your time with. After all, I was taught never to expect anything from anybody. So it's not like I was waiting for you or anything. Still, you should at least look over my poem. You'll probably be able to learn something from it. Uh... I... I, I don't know this language. I'm sorry. I see the word Bible over here. Right here. That's probably just coincidence, though. Ye yeah, if there's some sort of secret code in here, I can't figure it out. Natsuki, I'm sorry. Ash? Why didn't you come read with me today? I, I wanted to. Blame Yuri. I was waiting for you. I was waiting for a long time. It was the only thing I had to look forward to today. Why did you ruin it? Do you like Yuri more? I think you're better off not associating with her. Are you listening to me? Yuri is a sick freak. Oh. Uh. Oh, that's some creepy music. Oh, your face is doing the weird thing. No. That should be obvious by now. So just play with me instead. Okay? You don't hate me, Ash, do you? Do you hate me? Do you want to make me go home crying? Well, your eyes are bleeding! What the heck? The club is the only place I feel safe. Don't ruin that for me. This is genuinely scary. Don't ruin it. Please. Just stop talking to Yuri. Play with me instead. It's all I have. Play with me. Play with me? Oh, that's a face! That's a face right there! Oh, jeez, I don't want to hit enter. Uh, here we go. Oh, what the? What the heck? What just happened? Oh my god. <laughs> oh. Oh boy. Oh boy. <laughs> That's beautiful. Oh man, I love this. Well then. <laughs> uh, Monica. Monica, please. Hi again, Ash. <laughs> How's the writing going? Oh man, I can't keep my voice steady, I'm sorry. Alright, I guess. I'll take that. As long as it's not going bad. I'm happy that you're applying yourself. Maybe soon you'll come up with a masterpiece. <laughs> I won't count on that. You never know. Wanna share what you wrote for today? Sure, here you go. I give my poem to Monica. Alright. Great job, Ash. I was going ooh in my head while reading it. It's really metaphorical. I'm not sure why, but I didn't expect you to go for something so deep. I wasn't trying to. Why are you all talking like I wrote it for Yuri? I'm pretty sure I wrote it for Natsuki. Why are you doing this? Although I'm... Based on what we just saw with Natsuki, I'm pretty sure I'm on her route still. <laughs> I guess I underestimated you. It's easiest for me to keep everyone's expectations low. That way it always counts when I put in some effort. <laughs> that's not very fair. Well, I guess it worked anyway. You know that Yuri likes this kind of writing, right? Writing that's full of imagery and symbolism? Sometimes I feel like Yuri's mind is just totally detached from reality. I don't mean that like it's a bad thing, though. But sometimes I get the impression that she's just totally given up on people. She spends so much time in her own head that it's probably a much more interesting place for her. Well, that's why she gets so happy when you treat her with a lot of kindness. I don't think she's used to being indulged like that. She must be really starved for social interaction, so don't blame her for coming on a little strongly. Like earlier. I think if she gets too stimulated, she ends up withdrawing and looking for alone time. Suddenly the door opens. Yuri! I'm back. Did I miss anything? Not really. Well, we all started sharing our poems with each other. Huh? Already? I'm sorry for being late. No need to apologize. We still have plenty of time, so I'm more glad that you took all the time you needed. Alright. Thanks, Monica. 
I suppose I should go get my poem now. But anyway, you want to read my poem now? All right. I like the way this one turned out, so I hope you do too. Save me. This is the delete her poem, isn't it? Still talking about playing a knife on a breathing rib cage. Uh, delete her. Yep. Oh, why? No, go, stop. Sorry, I know it's kind of abstract. I'm just trying to, um... Well, never mind. There's no point in explaining. Anyway. Here's Monica's writing tip of the day. Sometimes you'll find yourself facing a difficult decision. When that happens, don't forget to save, ca save your game. You never know when, um... Who am I talking to? Can you hear me? Tell me you can hear me. Anything. Please help me. Okay. That's my advice for today. Thanks for listening. Oh, Yuri. Yuri, are you going to be crazy in this route too? Probably. I've been waiting for this. Let's see what you've written for today. Yuri smells and takes a deep breath. I like just holding it. Yeah, I don't remember her saying that before. Ah, uh, I mean, the poem turned out good. It's a... Uh, well, there are some things you could work on. But that doesn't really matter. It feels like anything written by you is a treasure. Yeah, she's already... She's in deep. Oh boy. <laughs> that came out a little awkward. Let's just move on. Here's the poem I wrote. You don't have to like it or anything. Oh, this is the fun one. The one that I really liked. A kaleidoscope of blood written in clocks. Oh yeah. That wonderful line. I'm not going to read all of this all over again. I think it's like 99% the same. Yeah. And it's quiet. <laughs> it doesn't really matter what it's about. My mind has been a little hyperactive lately, so I had to take it out on your pen. Uh, that, that is, a pen fell out of your backpack yesterday, so I took it home for safekeeping, and... I, um... I just really like the way that it writes. So I wrote this poem with it. And now you're touching it. <laughs> I'm okay. What did I just... Can we pretend this conversation never happened? You can keep the poem, though. I, I will keep it, gladly. Special poem. Uh, why? I don't want to stare at it. Stare at the dot to reveal a special message? Please don't jump scare me. Please don't jump scare me. Uh, I love you. Thank you, Monica? Yuri? I don't know who wrote this. Okay, everyone. We're all done reading each other's poems, right? We have something we need to go over today, so if everyone could come sit at the front of the room. Is this about the festival? I'm glad to see your neck isn't broken, Natsuki, and you're not bleeding- you're not crying tears of blood anymore. Well, sort of. Ugh, do we really have to do something before the festival? It's not like we can put together anything good in just a few days. We'll just end up embarrassing ourselves instead of getting any new members. That's a concern of mine as well. I don't really do well with last minute preparations. Don't worry so much. We're going to keep it simple, okay? Look, I know everyone's been a little more lively ever since Ash joined and we're, we started some, with some club activities, but this isn't the time for us to become complacent. We still only have four members, and the festival is our only real chance to find more, you know? What's so great about getting new members anyway? We already have enough to be considered an official club. More members will just mean everything gets noisier and more difficult to manage. Noski, I don't think you're looking at the right way at all. Don't you want to share your passion with as many people as you can? To inspire them to find the same feelings that brought you here in the first place? The literature club should be a place where people can express themselves like they can't do anywhere else. It should be a place so intimate you never want to leave. I know you feel that way too. I know we all do. So that's why we should work hard and put something together for the festival, even if it's something small. Right, Ash? Uh. Oh, come on. You can't take advantage of Ash to agree with you just because he doesn't know how to say no to anything. 
Look, Monica. Do you really think any of us here joined the club with with other people in mind? Yuri never even talked until Ash joined. As for me, I just like it better here than I do at home. And Ash isn't even passionate about literature in the first place. And that's everyone. Sorry, but you're really the only one who's so interested in finding new members. The rest of us are fine like this. I know you're president and all, but you should really consider our opinions for once. Monica's clearly taken aback by Natsuki's words. That's not true at all. I'm sure Yuri and Ash want to get more members too. Right? I don't know about Yuri, but I'm kind of indifferent. If I showed as much enthusiasm as Monica wanted, then I would probably be lying. Still, if it's up to me to rescue the situation... Um... No. Noski's right, isn't she? This club... is nothing more than a place for a few people to hang out. Why did I think that everyone here saw it the same way I did? But that doesn't mean we're against getting new members or anything. Ash, why did you even join this club? What were you hoping to get out of it? Well, that's not really something I can be honest about, is it? In fact, if I remember, you weren't even given a choice not to join. Monica sits downstairs at her desk. What's the point of all this, anyway? What if starting this club was a mistake? Now you've done it, Natsuki. What, me? I just spoke my mind. Is it a crime to be honest? It's not about being honest. It's about word choice. Besides, you have no right to speak for everyone else in the club like that. You don't understand at all! I just... I just want a place that feels nice to hang out with a few friends. Is there a problem with the club being that for me? There aren't... There aren't many other places like that for me. And now Monica wants to take it all away from me. She's not taking anything away. No, Ash. It's not the same. It won't be the same with the direction she wants to take it. If I wanted that, then I could have just joined any other stupid club. But this one, I mean, at least for a little bit of time, things were nice. Noski starts, starts packing up her things. I'm going home. I feel like I don't belong here right now. Noski. Noski ignores Yuri and walks right out of the classroom. This is bad. I don't know what to do. Well, do you have an opinion on the festival? I, I, I don't know. I'm kind of indifferent, I guess. Who cares about that obnoxious brat? I mean, I like how nice and quiet the club is right now. And I'm just happy with you here. But still, I'm the vice president. It's not right for me to ignore my responsibilities like that. Nobody would cry if she killed herself. Mmm, bleeding eyeball, Yuri. Delicious. I should do my best to consider everyone's perspective and make the decision that's right for the club. But what about you, Ash? Why do you want to get out of this club? Yuri, Yuri repeats the same question as Monica. I decide giving an indirect answer is better than nothing. I think the most important thing is for everyone to get along. And for the club to provide something that you can't get anywhere else. I don't think it's about how many members, but rather the quality of each member. That's what will end up making the literature club a special place. I see. I really agree with you. Each member contributes their own qualities in a special way. Nope, there, there's a blood dripping again. With each change in members, the identity of the club as a whole will change too. I don't think that's necessarily a bad thing. Stepping out of your comfort zone once in a while. So, if you would like to help Monica with the festival, then I'm in on it. I'm, then I'm on your side as well. What, what is the significance of the bleeding eyeball thing? She doesn't stab herself in the face, she stabs herself in the chest. I guess just symbolism? Alright. Well, maybe we can all talk to Natsuki tomorrow. Yuri nods. Hey, Yuri. Huh? Um, I know things were a little awkward yesterday, but I feel like you deserve to know that I still think you're a wonderful vice president. And also, a wonderful friend. M monica I want to do everything I can to make this the best club ever. Okay? Me too. Yeah. Let's all go home for today. We'll talk about the festival tomorrow. Okay. I look forward to it. Shall we go, Ash? Um, please don't take this the wrong way, but I'm going to chat a little bit with Ash before we leave. Just to see what he thinks of his time here and all that. It's important to me as president. Yuri looks a little troubled, but she doesn't protest. Okay. I trust your judgment, Monica. 
In that case, I'll see the two of you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Nasuki waves as Yuri exits the classroom. Whew. Things have been a little hectic lately, haven't they? Yeah, Natsuki snapped her own neck a minute ago. Ash, I just wanted to make sure you're enjoying your time at this club. I would really hate to see you unhappy, staticiness. I feel kind of like I'm responsible for that as president. And I really do care about you, you know? I don't like seeing the other girls give you a hard time. With how mean Natsuki is and everything. And Yuri being a little bit, you know. <laughs> Sometimes it feels like you and I are the only real people here. You know what I mean? But it's weird, because in all the time you've been here, we've hardly gotten to spend any time together. Uh, I mean... I guess it's technically only been a couple days. Sorry, I didn't mean to say something weird. There are just some things I've been hoping to talk about with you. Things I know only you could understand. So that's why- uh, Wait, not yet! No! Yep. <laughs> Alright, we're gonna end it there. So... That, that thing with Natsuki, that was creepy. I was honestly not expecting that. It was like some, some creepy pasta stuff. Like all those haunted video game <laughs> creepy pastas. Those are always fun. Anyway, thanks for watching. I hope you have a good day and I'll see you next time. Bye!